up without fucking up my camera. This is like take four. I'm getting thrown. All right, now this is take five. Perfect. All right. What is up, guys? Uh, Mr. CEO Chris Hustles here. Uh, just wanted to update you guys. Well, I wanted to let you guys in on the loop on what I got going on this week. It's currently March 21st. On um, on March 23rd, we have a pop-up event at the LBX in Long Beach with uh, Angel City Market, and I'm actually very excited for this one. This is a, this is gonna be a big event. They have like a whole stadium. They got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on over there. And um, yeah, I just think it's gonna be really good for my brand because I'm, I'm gonna be able to put myself out there in front of more people. So yeah, I'm really excited for it. Um, I, what I did plan on uh, specifically just making a drop just for that event. So that way I could, again, build more hype and get more attention for people. But we kind of ran into a, a, a major hiccup. So what we do is we get blanks and we do we do the printing ourselves but i placed my order with my wholesaler and you know it was expected to come on a certain day because that's as promised but i haven't received anything i haven't received any updates and i have tried contacting them but they're not getting back to me so it's a major hiccup because again you know we're off schedule and we don't have any blanks we don't have anything to print on so now as a business owner i gotta come up with a plan b because i'm not gonna cancel the event you know i gotta i gotta show up and show out i gotta figure it out so um yeah i'm just wanting to keep you guys in the loop i'll keep you guys updated with what i end up doing if like you know dun, 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 dun. my sick ass coffee mug y'all ain't like me anywho um so here we are it's uh what is it Friday, it's the 22nd, and we're in the laboratory. Let me show you guys real quick. So, we are here in the lab. Anywho, tomorrow we have a pop-up event going on for, with Sunday Marketplace, shout out to them because they be, they be hooking it up. And thanks to them, they give us a, a platform or a space to pro, to how about to promote a uh, gorilla nature and yeah so i ain't gonna lie it this is late this is like last minute stuff us printing or me printing the shirts right now i was supposed to be printing them like earlier in the week that way i wouldn't be rushing but i ran into some issues with the with my wholesaler so i literally just got the shirts today in the morning but i had a lot going on i was busy with my family and all that but it is what it is here we are you know we gotta like i said earlier show up and show out so yeah right now i'm just gonna down this coffee you know what i'm gonna do a little free promo right here everyday dose you know, if you guys have trouble focusing or you guys just need some some energy but you're not gonna get the jitters and you you need some good focus and you just want to feel healthier but you don't want to drink some coffee because it kind of gets you a little twisted then check out Everyday dose, highly recommend. It's a mushroom coffee. Fuck. Sorry if you guys hear the the plane. Let me just pause for a second. A moment of silence, please. Three hours later. I believe the storm has passed. Anywho, so yeah, pretty much today, all I'm gonna do is bring you guys along the process of how I make the shirts. Today we're planning to do our DQKG drop. This is the don't quit, keep going. Today we're working with black what is it called so i'm trying to think of the name of the color vintage black t-shirts there you go i don't know if you can see it good in the camera the color but this is the these are this is the color garment we, uh, we're working with today so far the the colors that we've done at least the shirts that i printed are just black and pink and white i believe i'm not sure but we also did print on some some cream hoodies some heather grit hoodies but this is my first time working with a um, vintage black which honestly, it looks more like a charcoal gray, but nonetheless, it looks hard as fuck. Especially once we slap our design on there. Man. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda take you guys to the process of what I gotta do to, to get everything started. Sorry, let me focus this thing real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna take you guys to the process of how I pretty much get everything started. I mean, I already have everything set up. I just brought out my table so I can have my shirts laid out. 
makes it a little bit easier for me to access them so I don't have to pull them out the box. That's Grover, Range Rover Grover. I that's I didn't come up with that name. That was a Q. He runs a cool launch pa cool launch podcast. So shout out to you, my guy. Anyways, um, yeah, so I already had this set up. I was working on some shirts last night. Uh so it's easier for me to just get started today but pretty much i always plug this in first that way i could get it warmed up this is our flash dryer this is pretty much what we use to dry the ink or, or cure the ink once we once we print it onto the garment before we were using this this heat gun which honestly was pretty clutch shout out to rafa my girl's brother but it was pretty clutch the only things that it did there was a couple issues with that um the problem with with the heat gun is you're only drying you're only curing a certain spot and if you don't cure the entire uh print at the same time then there are parts that could possibly not cure at the same uh like the same temperature as like different parts so you have parts that can crack or peel off and it just it just causes a whole lot of problems but that's why we got this bad boy right here that this thing is clutch this is my best friend right now but yeah there you go all right i'm gonna show you how i set up okay you know what i ain't i ain't gonna keep sipping on my oh shit that's blurry as hell hold on give me one second All right, I ain't gonna keep sipping on my coffee because if I do, then I'm just keep coming back and forth and stopping work. So I'm just gonna chug this real quick. Again, everyday dose. Get at your boy. Here we are. Let me see. Yeah, you want it to run a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. But put that down. Normally you don't really need a lot of ink, but since we're gonna work on 20 shirts right now, it's gonna use a good amount of ink, so I'm gonna just put a good amount. That way I don't, I don't have to keep coming back and putting some more. And if I do have to put some more, then it is what it is. So I skipped ahead a little bit. We already did the white print, and uh, now we're gonna do the the black print. This is how the white print came out, just a little smudge. And now we're gonna go ahead and press the black ink on there. I missed a big crucial step. <laughs> I'm not perfect, I fuck up. <laughs> so, let me show you guys a little something. This is a little lesson for y'all to not fuck up like me. So, here's this screen. And then, here's the white screen. Let's see if you guys spot it before. So here's the white screen. And then here's the black screen. If you guys haven't guessed it yet, what I got wrong, did, did you guess it? Yeah. What 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 do you think it is? There's like a screen over it, no? Like no. the blue stuff? Like no. Tape? Yeah, tape. So yeah. what it is, I didn't tape the edges. So this, if since I didn't tape the edges, if I go ahead and press this and it goes down through this through these little edges, it's gonna act, it's gonna print on onto the shirt. Mm. So now I gotta. Figure out how I'm gonna cover that up, but I'll be straight. We could we could fix this. All right, so the camera died. Um, we're using this camera right here. It died, but it's all good. Thankfully, these iPhones are pretty badass now, so we can record in 4K still and get some good quality for y'all. But what we left off was where I made a mistake. I forgot to tape the edges of the screen, and yeah, I fixed that problem now. 
here we are. Voila. I didn't tape it perfectly because I ain't gonna lie, I'm short on time. I gotta wake up early tomorrow for the pop-up event. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I didn't even tell you guys, okay? So we had that big pop-up, we have that, that, that big event that we were getting prepared for um, with the LBX Long Be uh, in Long Beach uh, with Angel City Market. Um, and they canceled, they canceled their event. I don't know why, sorry. Helicopter, okay, I don't know if you can still hear it, but anyways, point is they canceled. I, I'm not sure exactly why, they didn't really tell us the reason why, but yeah, they canceled, that's point blank period. And thankfully we have a good relationship with Sunday Marketplace, shout out to Isaiah. Uh, he hooked it up, he still has some, he still has some space uh, for some more vendors. It was, luckily it was just the last space and I managed to get in. So tomorrow we're still, we're still rocking with these shirts and we're still gonna put them out there for Sunday Marketplace. Again, shout out to him and thank you for having us. Now let's get back to it. Let's get it. Yeah. Yes, sir. We does this. Come on. We does this. You know we do. All right. So right now it's shiny. We gotta go ahead and cure it. All right, so here is the finished product for the first print. So I will say it did not come out perfect. Um, there was a couple parts that heated up a little bit more than others, but nonetheless, it's still hard as fuck. Our designs are sick, but you know, there are a few adjustments that we could make, but still, here we are. Bam. See the puff? You see it? You see the puff? Fire. D -d -d bro. The way this feels is amazing. All right, now we're gonna go back to recording a tie lap. Okay, so what I'm also doing in, uh, while I'm printing these shirts is I just put some two samples that I did last night. Uh, I put those in the washer. That way I can test the the print, the the puff, because this is my first time ever working with puff uh, with puff ink. So you guys are pretty much like watching me grow. You're watching me. What do you say? Spread my wings, you feel me? So yeah, I'm, I put it in the washer right now. Point, yeah, point is I put it in the washer right now uh, just so I could test it that way we can see how it does in the wash. Um, I, put, I put one of the shirts inside out and I left one of them regular just to see which one, if, if any of them do get messed up, I wanna see which one you know works better or which method. That way, sorry, excuse me. That way I can uh, let all of the customers know, okay, this will be the best way to wash our t-shirts. Well, which will be their t-shirts once they purchase from us because they know we the shit, you feel me? Anyways, we're gonna get back to production. Let's get it. All right, so I had to stop, stop the time last for a second just because I want to show you guys I adjusted a little bit. With that first white smudge that we did, we didn't, I, I didn't push the ink as much, so it came out a little faded, but this one, I, I did a, a few more pushes so I could get more ink through, and that way it could be a more solid background. So let's check it out. Here's the, the second one, and let me show you the first one. So here's the first one. You see how it came out a little faded? Sorry. But yeah, we'll make adjustments, and this was a sample, this one's gonna be mine. But yeah, make adjustments and we make our our shit better. All right, I'm about to give y'all a quick update, real quick. We're we just finished the the large. Well, actually, no, we're about to finish the large shirts. But this is pretty much how they're coming out. <laughs> Let me show y'all. Can you just hold it up real quick, babe? So they're coming out pretty good. There's a little, there's a few things we wish we could, we could do a little bit better, but you know, we're making adjustments along the way. This is the first time we're doing puff print, but 
it's still coming out pretty badass so i ain't even mad i i just know that y'all are still gonna fuck with it so yeah just quick little update i'm gonna get back to work and hopefully we can finish it as soon as possible because we got the hop event tomorrow at 10 p.m but i got i gotta wake up like at 7 30 so we're not rushing to get over there we had uh our partner pull up say what's up Hello, yo. so this is the last large shirt that well we just finished the last large shirt but look how sick these things are coming out like that's just just crazy like I know y'all gonna mess with this. All right, so it's currently like 4 a.m. Uh, we ran into a little issue. So we were almost done with the shirts. We we needed like one more small left for the big prints. And then we needed to do the front small print and then the, the print for the tags for the sizing. But the power went out. Well, at least just the power in the backyard went out because we had too many plugs connect to the same wall plug or too many connections to the same wall plug. And I ended up, I guess, shorting it or whatever. I don't, I don't know the term for it. But yeah, so we're still gonna thug it out. Uh, the good thing is that the small print, we don't need the big machine or the big dryer. We can just do it with the heat gun. So we're just gonna relocate to the front where the, so we don't make noise on the inside and just uh, do the prints since with the small screens and just heat it with the gun. So yeah, thugging it out. We ball. All right, so now we're in the front yard. Let me show you guys our setup. <laughs> yeah, huh? So this is our setup now. You know, we're over here thugging it out uh, just like this drop stands for. We just don't quit and we keep going. So follow that. All right, so here's a quick little update. We're almost done. We just finished, well, we're finishing up with the smalls for the sizing labels. And yeah, you can see it's currently still about to be five in the morning. We already finished all the other shirts, all folded up, ready to go. But we actually didn't finish the mediums. So like printing the big size, the, the big design. So we only are going to have, we are only going to have, um, small large and extra large available at the pop-up shop um but we are going to take pre-orders for anyone that doesn't want the design in the size medium just because again like i said earlier power went out so we'll be chilling but yeah we're almost done and tired of shit but we gotta be up early too but fuck it we ball <laughs> you ain't even tired huh mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, and bro, he came straight off their work, man. That's crazy. All right, so what time is it, bro? 5.17. All right, so it's currently 5.17 and we are finished. We, right now we just, uh, we're just cleaning up, closing up shop, and now it's time to get some sleep, fucking two hours, uh, so we could get this pop-up you get be, get popping at the pop up. That was so hard for me to say. I'm sorry, I butchered that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So again, uh, actually, I'll, I'll update y'all in the morning, man. I'm tired.